So last weekend, when I was driving my newly rebuilt 1996 Jeep Grand Wagoneer and I was towing a trailer, I noticed a uh, lack of power and response. It was going on the highway about 60 miles an hour or more, fine, but didn't have the same acceleration that I came to expect from this uh, new rebuild. I was uh, in the engine department. My buddy came over and he said, uh, Jason, what's wrong with your coil? And if you see here, the uh, top of my coil burnt off. Um, after doing a little bit of research, one of two things causes this. Either a band ground, you don't have grounding straps to either your heads to your block or to your frame. And, uh, or if you leave your key in the on, a, on position without starting the car for long periods of time, apparently that's also very bad for your coil, something that... In all my years, I hadn't heard. Well, I recently had, during this rebuild, put in a Holly Sniper EFI. During the Holly Sniper EFI installation, it requires a lot of programming, a little bit of uh, um, finagling, and I had the key on, uh, the on position without the engine running for long periods of time. I believe that uh, that might have been the culprit, the reason why I uh, have burnt up my new MSD Blaster high vibration coil. Um, when I did this install, that was brand new, along with the EFI, the MSD ignition that matches the uh, AMC 360 motor, as well as the new digital 6AL uh, MSD ignition module. Uh, because of this setup, I should have had a very good, clean uh, start with this vehicle, but unfortunately, um, I burnt my coil up. Um, I am going to reground my engine uh, points just to make sure, clean all of the, uh, the points of the uh, contact with the motor since there is paint on the motor. I did do a good job of cleaning before, but I'm going to just double check that. Um, but I have decided to upgrade, take this opportunity to upgrade to this very ugly blue Blaster HVC2 coil. Uh, this is the best one I could get based around the condition of the uh, or the 6AL uh, ignition uh, system. Um, I'm going to mount that right there on the uh, fender. I got plenty of room. Uh, it is a very large unit. It's uh, four by four by four, so uh, you need quite a bit of clearance. Uh, I thought about putting it here. On the top of the fender, um, there is room, but uh, I think it would limit the airflow around the unit. I'm going to mount it here, uh, the top of the fender, uh, to give it more airflow, even though there will be heat coming off of the engine. I think it will um, allow for more airflow coming from the electric fan. Uh, when I do that, I'm hoping that this uh, Jeep will run <laughs> like a bat out of hell. Uh, but I do recommend for those that are installing uh, a Holly uh, EFI uh, sniper system, it is an outstanding system. However, when you are doing that, unhook the wires to your coil. Uh, this will help prevent any um, burning up of the coil, uh, like the situation here I believe I had. Uh, from here forward, when I'm doing any kind of uh, program with the EFI, I will be taking uh, the leads off of the new coil and that way uh, make sure that I don't do any damage to the coil when the key's in the on position but not running. I will uh, post a second video after I'm done with the uh, installation of the new coil.